In this video, we're going to talk about how to write polynomial functions given the zeros. So let's say if we have a polynomial function with a degree of 2. And let's say that the zeros are 1 and 2. And also that when x is 3, the function has a value of 6. Write a polynomial function with these characteristics. So let's focus on the zeros. x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the 1 and move it to the left side. So the factor that I have is x minus 1, and the other factor is x minus 2. Now the function is going to have those factors. And we need to determine the leaning coefficient a. Now when x is 3, the function has a value of 6. So let's replace f of x with 6. And let's replace x with 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now let's divide both sides by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So a is 3. So therefore, the function in its factored form is 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 2. But now let's write it in its standard form. So let's FOIL x times x, that's going to be x squared. And then x times negative 2, negative 2x. And then this is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Now, let's combine like terms. Negative 2x minus x is negative 3x. And now let's distribute the 3. So it's going to be 3x squared minus 9x plus 6. So this is the polynomial function with a degree of 2. So that's the answer. Now let's work on another example. So let's say that this particular polynomial function has a degree of 3, and it has the zeros 3 and 2i. And f of 4 is equal to 40. Go ahead and try that problem. So let's start with the zeros. 3, 2i. If you have an imaginary number, it always comes in pairs. So the other zero is going to be negative 2i. So let's convert these equations into factors. So it's going to be x minus 3 is equal to 0, x minus 2i is equal to 0, and x plus 2i. So the function is going to equal a times x minus 3 times x minus 2i times x plus 2i. Now the first thing I would FOIL are uh, the imaginary numbers. So let's FOIL these two. So first we have x times x, which is going to be x squared, and then x times 2i, so that's 2ix, and this is going to be negative 2ix, and then negative 2i times 2i, that's negative 4i squared. So we could cancel 2ix and negative 2ix. They add up to 0. And it's important to understand that i squared is negative 1. So negative 4i squared is going to be negative 4 times negative 1, which is plus 4. So this is what we now have. Now let's replace f of x with 40. And let's replace x with 4. So this is going to be 4 minus 3, and then 4 squared plus 4. So 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 squared is 16 plus 4, that's 20. So if we divide both sides by 20, 40 divided by 20 is 2, so a is equal to 2. So therefore, f of x is equal to 2 times x minus 3 times x squared plus 4. Now let's FOIL. So x times x squared, that's going to be x cubed. And then x times 4 is 4x. And here we have negative 3x squared. And then negative 3 times negative 4. That's going to be negative 12. And now let's distribute the 2. 
and let's write it in standard form. So it's going to be 2x cubed, and then 2 times negative 3x squared, that's negative 6x squared, and then 2 times 4x, that's 8x, and then 2 times negative 12 is negative 24. And so this is the polynomial function with a degree of 3. Here's another one. Let's say we have a polynomial with a degree of 4. And the zeros are 2, negative 3 fourths, and 5 minus 2i. And let's say that f of 3 is 900. Go ahead and write the polynomial function. So first, let's write the zeros. So we have x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 3 fourths, x is equal to 5 minus 2i, and the other one is going to be 5 plus 2i. So because it's degree 4, we need four different values for x. So we have two real solutions and two imaginary solutions. So if we move the 2 to this side, the first factor will be x minus 2 is equal to 0. For this one, we're going to have to do some work. So let's multiply both sides by 4. So the 4's will cancel to get rid of the fraction. So 4x is equal to negative 3. And then let's add 3 to both sides. So 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So let's put that here. Now let's take everything and move it to the other side. So the 5 will change to negative 5 and the negative 2i will become plus 2i. And then let's do the same for the other one. So it's going to be x minus 5 minus 2i is equal to 0. So f of x is going to equal a times x minus 2 times 4x plus 3 times x minus 5 plus 2i multiplied by x minus 5 minus 2i. So let's begin by foiling these two expressions. But a simplified way to foil it is anytime you're multiplying the, these types of complex expressions, it turns out that it's equal to x minus 5 squared plus 2i times negative 2i. So this is x minus 5 times x minus 5. And 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. So we have x times x, which is x squared, and then that's a negative 5x minus 5x, and then negative 5 times 5 is positive 25. i squared is negative 1, so negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. And so negative 5x and negative 5x is negative 10x. 25 plus 4 is 29. So when foiling these two, you should get x squared minus 10x plus 29. Now, if you prefer to do it the old-fashioned way, I'll show you that too. So you can see that it's the same answer. So x times x, that's going to be x squared. And then x times negative 5, negative 5x. And then this is going to be negative 2ix. And then negative 5x. And then negative 5 and negative 5 is plus 25. And then this is going to be positive 10i. And then we have 2i times x, so that's plus 2ix. And then 2i times negative 5, which is negative 10i. And then finally, 2i times negative 2i. That's negative 4i squared, which is positive 4. So now let's cancel. So negative 2ix and 2ix will cancel. And 10i and negative 10i will cancel. Now we can combine these two. So that's going to be negative 10x. And we can combine 25 and 4, which is 29. So as you can see, we get the same answer. So this is x squared minus 10x plus 29. Now let's FOIL these two. 
So x times 4x, that's going to be 4x squared. And then x times 3 is 3x. And then this is going to be negative 8x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So if we combine like terms, this is going to be negative 5x. So let me just replace that with negative 5x. Now let me go ahead and calculate a before I finish formula in this expression. So I'm going to replace f of x with 900. And I'm going to replace x with 3. So this is going to be 4 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 minus 6. And then 3 squared minus 10 times 3 plus 29. So 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, 5 times 3 is 15, 3 squared is 9, 10 times 3 is 30, and we do have a 29 here. Now 36 minus 6 is 30, and 30 minus 15, that's 15. Now 9 minus 30 that's going to be negative 21. A negative 21 plus 29 is 8. So 15 times 8, that's 120. So 900 equals 120 times 8. So now let's divide both sides by 120. So I can cancel a 0. So it becomes 90 over 12. Now let me make some space so I can just get rid of this stuff on top here. So let's reduce 90 and 12. So 90 is basically 9 times 10. 12 is 3 times 4. And 9 is 3 times 3. 10 is 5 times 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. So I could cancel a 3 and I can cancel a 2. So 3 times 5 is 15. So it's 15 over 2. And so that's A in this example. So now I can write the function in its factored form. So f of x is going to be 15 over 2 times 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 times x squared minus 10x plus 29. So now let's FOIL it. Whenever you FOIL a trinomial by another trinomial, initially you'll get nine terms before combining like terms. So 4x squared times x squared, that's going to be 4x cubed. And then 4x squared times negative 10x, that's negative 40. Actually, it was supposed to be 4x to the fourth power not 4x cubed. And then these two, this is going to be negative 40x cubed. And then 4x squared times 29. 4 times 20 is 80. 4 times 9 is 36. So 80 plus 36, that's going to be 116. So that's plus 116x squared. And this is going to be negative 5x cubed. And then that's going to be positive 50x squared. And negative 5 times 29, that's going to be negative 145x. And then this is going to be negative 6x squared. And then plus 60x. And negative 6 times 29, that's going to be negative 174. So now let's combine like terms and put it in standard form. So we have 4x to the fourth, and then the x cubes are just these two. So that's going to be negative 45x cubed. And then 
116 minus 6, that's 110. And 110 plus 50, that's going to be 160 x squared. Negative 145 plus 60, that's going to be negative 85x, and then minus 174. So now let's distribute 15 over 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then times 15, that's going to be 30. So this is going to be 30x to the 4. And then 15 times negative 45 divided by 2. So that's going to be a fraction. It's going to be negative 675 over 2 times x cubed. And then 160 divided by 2 is 80 times 15. This is going to be plus 1200 x squared. And then negative 85 times 15 over 2, that's negative 85 times 15 is 1275. And it's an odd number, so it's not divisible by 2. And then negative 174 divided by 2. That's negative 87 times 15. That's going to be negative 1305. So this is the polynomial function with degree 4 that has those characteristics. And that's the answer.